Law 5 lists the duties of the referee. The referee enforces the laws of the game, restarting the match after it has been stopped, and controls the match with the help of the assistant referees and the fourth official, where one is appointed. He makes sure the ball meets the requirements of Law 2 and that the player's equipment is correct. The referee acts as a timekeeper and keeps a record of the match, providing the authorities with a match report. He can stop, suspend or terminate the match for an infringement of the match or because of any outside interference. In this incident, there are two balls on the field of play. The referee therefore correctly stops play as the ball is interfering with play. The referee must be especially careful about injuries to players. If the player is only slightly injured, the match is allowed to continue until the ball goes out of play. If there's a serious injury, play is stopped and the injured player is removed from the field. The injured player may only return after the match has restarted. A player bleeding from a wound must leave the field and can only return when the bleeding has stopped. Referees must punish players who are guilty of cautionable or sending off offences but they can allow advantage if they wish, take action against the offending player when the ball next goes out of play, as we see in this incident. An official in the technical area can be sanctioned for behaving in an irresponsible manner. And if the offence is considered serious enough by the referee, can be expelled from the technical area. The referee is the leader of the team of match officials and acts on the advice of the assistant referee for incidents not seen by himself. The decision of the referee is final and can only be changed if the referee realises he's made a mistake or accepts advice from the assistant, providing play has not restarted. In some matches, a fourth official is appointed and he or she will officiate if any of the match officials is unable to continue. The fourth official assists with the administration before, during and after the match and is responsible for assisting with substitutions during the match. The fourth official also supervises the replacement footballs. And ensures that the equipment of the substitutes is correct before they enter the field. Another duty of the fourth official is to indicate the additional time to be played in each half after receiving information from the referee and to inform the referee of cases of mistaken identity. When a player is not sent off after receiving two cautions and when violent conduct takes place out of the view of the referee or his assistants. It's not easy to be a referee. One of the main requirements is that he must be able to manage not only the players, but also the coaches and others in the technical area.
Different approaches can be taken at different times. A quiet word or a friendly gesture can be effective. On other occasions, a strong line must be taken. A smile can often help to diffuse difficult situations. The referee's duty is to apply the laws of the game. It seems simple, but it can be a pressure situation. Players, caught up in the emotion of the match, often react against decisions, and referees have to be courageous in applying the laws. Another referee, another match, and another pressure situation as a last-minute penalty kick is correctly awarded. The body language of the referee is strong. He's clearly in charge. Clear signalling is a good example of using body language correctly, as are facial expressions. They show the players that the referee is confident and in complete control. There's no doubt that high levels of fitness are essential for all top referees. 